Hello friends, let's take a video on uh, status for content creation. It's very important thing, you know, it's time to kickstart the content creation into high gear. Managing the blog and other forms of content can seem to be daunting, but fortunately there are four little steps to get started. First step is nothing but you have to create topic list, which is based on the core keywords. Basically put your ideas into the calendar around 15 to 20 topics add the description at your topic ideas you might not remember your idea when you have to go and write the post three months from now so basically you have to create the topic list second thing is that uh, knowing what types of content to publish basically you should know what type of content you want to publish so each time there are five main type of content first is ebooks Second is webinars, third is newsletters, videos and guest blogging. So you should have unique advantages and disadvantages. So there are some advantages and disadvantages. Consider your options carefully with your target market in mind. So don't try to do everything right way. So when starting out with blogging, you should aim to contribute 70% of content you create to other blogs in order to help establish yourself and experts in this space. So basically, you have to start out with blogging. You have to contribute 70% of your content to other blogs that will help to establish yourself into the space. So here webinars also play a very important role. Hearing your voice and engaging with your life gives customer a sense of familiarity. You know, to become familiar is very important. Use the webinars in order to establish yourself as an expert in that space. Establish the rapport with the prospectors as a lead generating engine that is going to ex actually explain the idea that is quite complex product to the audience. You can also have some live uh, tweets like a hashtag, you know, many people follow that trend. They create the trend using the hashtag. So many make sure that you have the great nuggets of wisdom, something, you know, that is easily retweetable. You know, make sure that you have that contact information or a call to action. Cross promote your webinar on uh, your blog. Basically, cross promote. Uh, tell the other people also to promote your webinar. And the uh, most important thing is ebooks and guides. You know, you offer a free ebook in exchange for an email address. For example, if you want to. Uh, if you want an email address of some person, you know, you can exchange an ebook. Simply create a tools like uh, MailChimp and WordPress, you know. Follow up, ask the opinion about the ebook, open the door for conversation. Track some downloads and metrics that is going to help you remember for free contents. Ask the content marketer to slow the process. Don't expect, you know, quick wins in the right way. You, it takes time to build a great reputation. So it's very important to have the ebooks and e-guides. Write some newsletters. Email marketing is far from the dead. You know, 56% of the business said that they have planned to increase their use of email marketing in 2013. So make subscribing to your newsletter quick and straightforward. So basically it is so easy monkey could do it, you know. So make people subscribe your newsletters. That's also very important thing. Uh, but don't go overboard with the email blast, you know, or use your connection, you lose it. Don't be an annoying friend. So basically many people bombard with uh, many newsletters, you know. So don't use it much, uh, the people will get bored, you know. So frequency also plays an important role. At what level of frequency you are using, that's also very important. And most uh, important is videos. If a picture is worth a thousand words, imagine what the video is worth. So keeping it simple by creating an explainer video or an introduction video, put that video on the startup website or blog, you know, that's going to really help the people. So static show that the most people would rather watch than read. They were more likely to buy watching a video. So basically video, if people like they will uh, watch the video more you know so videos is equal to more customers so dropbox introduced a simple explainer video on the landing page 
and saw an additional 75,000 subscribers in just 24 hours. So OnlineShoes.com converts 45% more customers using a video to 359% year over year increases the video views. So the product pages with the videos have greater conversation rates and pages without video. So basically if you have a good page video that's going to really play an important role in order to engage more and more customers to come. So you should also have a guest blogging that's also very important. Guest blogging is an incredible way to build your uh, influence and establish expertise in the field you know basically start by making list of 20 to 30 blogs uh, publication that interest you and complementary to your industry and looking forward to the guidelines and following up the process you know why mail or social media you should ask editor to contribute some content so basically content is very important many people are interested in content so the so content you contribute is 100 you should be more 100 percent authentic you know people uh, like the content which is authentic people uh, will not like anything haphazard you know once you build a reputation you create your own writer page and link that content that you have published so basically uh, your content should be 100 percent authentic and that is very important so guest blogging can also help uh, with capturing emails also you know capturing emails can be divided into three categories first email submits uh, second is newspaper subscription and blog subscription so mail marketing is one of the best tool like uh, MailChimp that will allow you to send the custom mails. Basically one can set up an email campaign based on the RSS feed uh, which means subscriber will receive mail whenever the new content is published. published. So basically uh, whenever new content comes up you know the subscribers will get a mail they are, that somebody has posted a video on that or some article is being published. So basically RSS feeds also play a very important role uh, and uh, taste and iterate you know you have continuously improved your market strategy strategy by testing whatever strategy you have tried whether it is working or not and try to improve on that so you have to set up the analytic tools you have to measure the success how much it is going Google Analytics also no full solution it can be user friendly and advanced or Kissometrics is also available so this analytics tool is going to actually help you uh, to uh, you know understand how you are growing again you have to set some benchmarks that this much I have to achieve so major week or week month or month and uh, how much you are growing if you can't measure you can't manage it so it's very important to measure the things you have to attribute a significant growth decline of an event you have to you know brainstorming creative new ideas don't only iterate try to optimize uh, you have been already doing try to create something new because people like new things so uh, some of our new and innovative ideas will fail but a uh, few that will succeed will be working so it's very important to have some new ideas coming into your mind have some best practices you know uh, industry experts what they say they have some basically sell the solution touch upon don't deal with the problem quickly give the solution how your solution is going to be an ultimate fix so basically sell is, selling a solution is important thing have a compelling story you, you should have a story that differentiates yourself from the competition so there should be some good story use of all resources you know uh, don't overlook the marketing idea big or small Get your team excited about the startup story and uh, make it a trending topic. That's also very important. You have to create a hype. That is also very important. By With the help of your friends, you can create by moving that hashtag. And conclusion, you know, startup marketing is a blend of science and art. So every tested formulas that is being approached with the personal fitnesses, uh, fineness and flair. When our marketing comes with passionate perspective and math, on a thoughtful strategy the results are going to come so basically you have to stay tuned to my videos in order to learn much more about the marketing for startups thank you so much